You're now listening to the Who Got Downs podcast brought to you by 2K Life Network. Are you ready? With the first pick in the NBA draft. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody losing. What are we talking about? Practice, man. What are we talking about? 2K Life Network. Practice? That's terrible. We talking about practice, man. Mm, let's be ready to rumble! 2K Life Network. Are you not entertained? You know why I'm here. And this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach. Tune in. Team ain't ready for us. Yo, 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 we here. We got the Who's Got Downs podcast today. Uh, got a special guest, Flying L, <laughs> Fourth Ave, 1600 Boys, Team Haiti. Already. The Olympian. I stayed on Seventh Ave, though. <laughs> he stayed on Seventh Ave in the East. <laughs> Jeffrey Jonas. How you doing today, bro? I'm good. I'm good. How y'all doing? Hey. Hey, this is a lit podcast, right? I never been around an Olympian. <laughs> yeah, me either, bro. So like, I feel like this is this I'm is still we feel honored. Bro. Yeah, he's nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Down yeah. there, you see, you got to be a flying L to just know that. Even when you got the juice, you what, just stay what is a flying L for uh, for our listeners? Let me don't... tell you the history. Is that a track <laughs> no, no. meet? 1937. <laughs> okay, 37. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, it's in the hallway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they run in the track meet, and you know when you run, you form an L okay. when you run. Yeah. Of course, you know, Lottie was in first place when he was winning the race. They said, look at that flying L go. Crazy as corny as the story is, but that's how I went. They had it posted up in the hallway. It's cool. We got a whack story. It's cool. It's no, funny. It's cool. But listen, for, Lottie probably had the wackest logo. Mascot. Yeah. We, Max, that's in cool. They County. tried we to did. change it a few years. Even my, my senior year, they tried to change it to Lottie Blue Devils, the alumni and stuff, but they wasn't having it. They was like, this school is the oldest in Broward County's history. You can't change it. So yeah, was we, we we and we flying when out? it came to track and field. Okay, Fort Lauderdale High School great is shot. definitely historically known to be a great to have a great track program. So you couldn't they tell did. shit about them. They, yeah, when yeah. I was on, at on 80, the track I field, shit about a lot on of the track field. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can't speak for the sports. Yeah, so yeah. other sports. Yeah. Let's not talk about that. We right talking right. about a track <laughs> Olympian right here. Yeah. Go, so, so Jeff, can you tell our listeners what what did you um do in the the Olympics? Um, I did the one hundred and ten meter hurdles. Okay, and the in the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio. We got an Olympian Damn, in, the, in the podcast. One time today. I seen Rio is that beautiful <laughs> video with Snoop and Pharrell. And this nigga got to go there. There's yeah. a lot of A's out there, but I know it's some B's. Hey, listen, it's a lot out there. Oh, but yeah, there yeah. was more Zeke over here. Yeah, there was more. Nah, it's more Zeke over here than it was over there. I'm just asking. It's crazy. crazy. No, 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 it it was, a big thing over there. It makes it seem like it was crazy. Yeah, it's, it was, it was wintertime. Did that, it was wintertime. So mosquitoes. I mean, it did. I was nervous, especially because I was supposed to get no, nah, I'm a chip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> I already see where you about to go with that. Yeah, it's it, it was scary knowing that there was mosquitoes that could bite you, but they provided us with a lot of off spray. But Did they give you any vaccination for nothing? Like I mean, that? you had to get vaccinated before you before, before, obviously, okay. before you okay. left. So, but I mean, they gave us all the off spray you needed. So, but I, we didn't need it. It was winter time over there. So, True. so when it's winter time, mosquitoes cold, they yeah, really come down like the cold. cold, even though it wasn't really cold. But yeah, that's about to say. It's, 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 it's the Amazon. Yeah, right there, like. Yeah. But really, I ain't. Yeah. We probably seen like one or two mosquitoes. How how long is a flight to Brazil from here? Um. Well, I did it in sections. So uh-huh. my first flight was like six hours, six seven hours. Shit. And then about Dude. three hours on the second flight. So total like nine. How did it feel to represent your country, Haiti, and just South Florida in general? Like, how did that feel? Oh like, man, you did it before. Yeah, definitely. So, but definitely like, yeah. did it in twenty twelve. Yeah, yeah, twenty twelve, people might sleep on it, but yeah. But it's it's an honor, man. Um, a lot of people don't know what it was to grow up Haitian. Mm. Um, it was different. I loved it. I mean, it it, it made me who I am. Absolutely. But I never, I, I was never American. Tattoo so, on your chest. Yeah, <laughs> already. <laughs> um, but. I didn't grow up in an American household. I didn't. Everything about me was Haitian. Ah. Only thing about being American was where I was born mm-hmm. in a hospital. Other than that, that's it. Yeah, tradition. So, so to put the flag on to the- put the flag on, especially I spoke it into existence. Like anything that I've done, speaking into existence. I've been saying it since I was a kid. Like yo, I'm gonna represent Haiti. And those were games. So, so to actually Ooh. do it, it's like oh, that's dope. <laughs> that <laughs> is. Because how, how many people can say they actually? Represented their country, you know, on a national other, stage. On a national like, stage, yeah. like, that's what everybody was watching. There's nothing else that people was watching. 
than this. So yeah. this is like, how dope is that? It, it, it is. It's a great feeling. It's it is. definitely a great feeling. And, and Words can't take, express. Yeah, not not take it away, but you represent the South Florida too. Oh know? yeah, definitely. You know, sense, don't you know? get it twisted. Yeah, I also twi- grew up on the Ave <laughs> on Seventh <laughs> Ave. Now oh, I mean, I grew up on in, in the East, so a lot of that was with me. Oh, now I mean, you know, all my all the people that see me <laughs> running it when I was at a lot of that was with me. Don't get it twisted, but you know, Haiti was on my chest. Oh yeah, you good. At not it wasn't tatted at that point. It was nah, you know nah, nah. on the jersey. You know what I mean, <laughs> hey, that, no that. tats on this side. <laughs> team no tats. Te- hey, no right tats. here now. Nah, you ain't yeah, on yeah, team no yeah, tats. Yeah, nah, you good over here. <laughs> team no tats. Baby. Meme, team no tats. Yeah. Man. So, all right. So we seen the um the meme. You seen the meme with Michael Listen, Phelps, right? I seen them all. I no, seen no, no. The meme Michael with Michael Phelps, Phelps. when oh, he had the, when the he serious tone, when he had the serious face, and, and he was like this, right? I didn't see that. Yes, you did. Everybody. Everybody's talking about it. Like there was like, what was Michael Phelps listening to? Right before his big race. And, he, and the dude competitor. who was supposed to be going up against, like, it was doing, like, boxing, shadow boxing in front of him. Like the It was all up. over because, like, he got to introduce Future. Like, it was a crazy meme. It was all over Michael Phelps. I didn't see that. All right, pull I'm, it up. I'm, I'm pulling, pulling it up right now. Pull it up. Pull it up. But all you got to do. He was you, listening to him. He had, like, the meme mug face on, like, he was about to split and, everybody. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, he looked he look gangster And so they asked him, during that day, like, that moment, what song were you listening to? And he said Future. He said Future, Stick yeah. Talk. Oh man! So, <laughs> yeah, hey. and I, I don't feel like nobody expected that. Like of all people, for him to be listening <laughs> yeah, to his Michael future Phelps. stick talk, yeah, talk. Yeah. stick talk. Not even like um March Madness, like stick talk. Like you had to go through, you had to listen to that album to find. Yeah, stick you got to really listen to the future to man. listen to stick talk. So, so it's just like, what what do you listen to? Like when you get into the zone, <sighs> what, what you, what you listen zone? to in real? Listen, I got a con- I'm I'm low key bugged bugged out when it comes to warming up because I be in my own zone. I'm trying to get away from the headphones because it's our coaches tell us it messes with your equilibrium and all that. But okay. And I do warm up better without it, but <laughs> when I got the headphones on, yeah, I, whole world. I gotta have a combination of Meek, mm, okay. uh Kendrick. Um but mostly mostly get hype music like Meek, honestly. I'm um You ain't gonna <laughs> listen to no Drake on that and on son of <laughs> I mean here and there with the yeah. him and the future joint when, okay. it, when that yeah, first yeah, came yeah, out, yeah, I was yeah. rocking that for a while. You know, listen to it. It was it was hot. It's too much. Nah, nah, yeah, right. too much. Singing. Nah, Drake do his. Drake nah, do no, no. Drake, yeah, Drake is a great artist. A of, yeah, I can't handle yeah, no singing. No, he, no, he, no, he, yeah, I don't want no melody. But it's too yeah. so. I'm, I'm understand what he said. Meek is like nah. Meek get you in that. Yeah, he gets you in that. He gets you in that. It's like get you in that. Like fuck everybody who's fucking here. I'm here to do my life. It was type. So you and I'm and I'm I'm real and animated. So. <laughs> All the action, hand movements, <laughs> gestures, and I'm loud with it. Like I'm not, I'm not just warming Everybody up quiet. It. That's that so flow. Oh yeah, it, it's, it's 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 there. Like, and I'm telling niggas too. I'm looking at niggas. <laughs> hey yo, excuse my language. Not not niggas. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at people Dude, like yeah. saying the words, and I'm really talking to them. Like, yeah, you you gonna get it. So, <laughs> well, that's scared. No, yeah. so so that so that takes me to the next question. So a lot of people confused because everything came out. You did a certain movement before your race, right? Yes, yes. You did a certain movement. You you, you pointed to your hand, and, and then people were the, thinking like listen, you were being see, cocky see, see. and boastful. No, no, honestly, this go ahead, be, go ahead, they, go ahead. You were being cocky. You were being boastful. Like, oh yeah, like, this dude, he, he better come in one, two, or three. Listen, like, listen, listen. And then it happened. So, what were you doing before the race? What was that? First of all, yeah. Anybody? Well, that's what I do before. My race. First of all, I was Every saying race? yes. Okay. I was saying God's timing. So when I pointed at my wrist, they didn't show me point up, up. Mm. And I and listen, if you look at my lips, I said God's timing. Mm. So people looked at. I mean, whether or not it was cocky, I you I don't. Know, I, yeah. I'm confident. You so, know how people gonna take it. Uh, society. Yeah, I mean, you want to be great. It's got to be. Though. Yeah, it's 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 fine. They could take it how well, they want it. But I'm a confident dude. So whether or not I was boasting, who's not? You're in a sport where. Confidence is everything. <laughs> Confidence is anything you need it. to be the best. Yeah. So I gotta know I'm the best before I even step on the track. So but if I'm want- doing a, a hand movement and saying it's my time or whatever people thought I was saying, I'm That's entitled even, to that. Yeah. Like, but you weren't even saying that at the point. Nah, I wasn't even. I was. I'm telling it's, them it's, it's God's it's time. God's time. So Look, let's, let's let's go. It's, and it definitely was. I mean, the fall. The fall was supposed to happen. I mean, I can't explain it. My leg just didn't come up. Like. <laughs> Uh, trust sure. me, I was in okay. myself saying, "Yo, it's <laughs> over." Fuck. Oh shit! Use so, my language no, no, again, you good, but you nah, you good? Oh, it's here. Go here. Go to tumble, but 
so, I mean, it was supposed to happen at that moment, I think. Let me try to get let me try to get you in that mindset. So the Olympics happen every four years. So every I know you four. had to do a lot of prepping. Hey, listen. How many people make the Olympics? Like we, One we in got every a home. 10, <laughs> Come on, don't even break the stats to them. Can you say that again? <laughs> One in every ten thousand athletes. Probably even more than that. So like this is the cream a, of the crop. So for you to even be at that stage, we already know the amount of work and effort you probably put into it. So it's like Olympics happens every four years. Mm -hmm. So when that happened, when you were disqualified, what was your feeling at that moment? I didn't know I was disqualified until okay. um honestly until that night when I was in my back in my in my room in my uh in the village. Okay. Um and when I found out, I was like, well, it makes sense because I went under the hurdle. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't thinking about it at the moment. It was just the hurdle was in my way. Yeah, so it was just, like, yeah. was I supposed to move the hurdle out the way, go over it? But, to get out of here. So it didn't bother me. Um, I was just in another. I was in another zone, man. I was, <laughs> I was laughing and I was reading a whole bunch of inspirational stuff, which was wow. crazy. Because while there were the memes, and trust me, I was laughing at a lot of them because some of them <laughs> yeah, were wild no, funny. No, some of them, but yeah. some of them was whack, and it was yeah. like, all right, let me see who this is. You ain't even got no followers. Like, I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah, even want to pay. Yeah, I don't, I don't <laughs> even want to pay you attention. Hey, like, your pictures in there. You, you don't count. And over there, listen, yeah. what I don't. It, there's a video on Facebook showing it, but there's a part when I when I crossed the line because I finished the race when I when I yeah. crossed the line and I uh you know waved at the crowd or whatever. I put my hands over my head. And then when I put the first, I did it twice. The first time I did it, I said, yo, niggas about to murder me. <laughs> I'm about to be on everything. Yo, that's what I'm saying to myself. I'm yeah. about to be every meme. I know I'm about to be on his or hers doing the most. <laughs> Michael Smith. Uh, yo, I thought I was, yeah. I knew it was over. But then, you know, prayed, did my little, yeah. you know, same thing I do after every race. Talk to God, big them up or whatever. <laughs> but yeah. I heard the crowd went wild for you. They did. That. No, and even that, even even down here, like they were said, you know, because you 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 had the 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 wherewithal to finish. Yes, you know? yes, yeah, and, and, and yeah. it was automatic. It was I, automatic. I, you know, you once every four and years. You know, it's crazy, but I, I I can say I've grown a lot in the past. What four months? No, months? since I left Lauderdale, I uh -huh. say since I left Fort Lauderdale, <laughs> Florida, I've I've grown up a lot, and it took a lot because I don't know if the, the young you? a, a young yeah. me would have been able to would have been able to finish. Like, if that was me straight out of high school, like, high school phenom. What do you really mean about that? Mindset, that? Like, yeah. like, I was, I, I don't know if immature, ignorant is the right, yeah, yeah immature. That's, that's the, yeah, perfect, that's the yeah. perfect word, is immaturity. So, I remember one time in college, I was at a race. Um, this is when I was at K-State. Um, I was in a race, and it was at Iowa. <laughs> at Iowa, uh, What's the not not Iowa State? That's the Iowa red, State. Yeah, the red Cyclones. Cyclones. Yeah. Cyclones. They got a great indoor facility, but the track to me, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. So I I did bad. I think I got like either I ran a slow time, even though I won the race, or something happened, and I like threw a fit. Like, oh man, like ah, oh, like I think I hit a hurdle or something. I threw a fit, and one of the, the girls on staff, she was a post collegiate, and she was signed by Nike at the time. Mm -hmm. Her name was Betty Wade. She was like, Yo, Jeff. She pulled me to the side. She was like, yo, you really got to chill. Like, you never know who's watching yeah. when you throw these fits and somebody might be, you know, Scott, you, yeah. She, yeah, somebody yeah. might be looking at you and they see you act like that. They're not going to want to, they're not going to want yeah. you to represent. And I'm like, oh, okay. And ever since then, I knew like, yeah, I had that mindset like, yo, you can't wild out every time every something happens. And it. trust me, when I fell, <laughs> I knew you there was a, I don't, was there, I don't know if there was, I don't know if they showed up, but there was a, a point where it looked like I almost smiled. I was like, ha. Oh. Why here? But immediately I was like, yo, get up and finish this race, man. I got up and I went over the first hurdle. And when I went over the first hurdle, I mean, I went under the, 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 the hurdle that was right in front of me. When I went over the first, the crowd started clapping. I'm like, oh, here go the sympathy clap. <laughs> but the sympathy clap turned into cheering. Like they was, I was like, oh, okay, so damn, this. At least they, you yeah, know, yeah. they brought me yeah, in, yeah. man. Cause yeah. Word. Because it could have been, that, yeah. that fall in front of all these people? I was saying, oh I know it's a lot of people. No, like, listen. No, no, no. Not the stands. I'm talking about the people on the television. Because it's like, yeah. weird as it was, like, the Olympics was great and all that. But there wasn't, they never filled the stadium. Oh, oh. They never filled the stadium. Even when Bolt competed, they, they didn't fill the entire stadium. 
And that's probably the first place that's ever happened. Yeah, because like you see, they and Both. low key you saying that because they usually pan out to show like the. I heard they never audience, really pan out they, ever. Nah. Yeah, and it, I didn't really peep that until you said that. I, I, I heard. I don't know if it's yeah. true or not, but I heard like different um, TV stations were like using different computer, pages, yeah, d- 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 animation, yeah, yeah, animation stuff to make it look like, like the like was Madden, full, just to put. <laughs> but it really wasn't though. It, it's it's crazy. So. But ah. I know I fell in front of... Because you can't see... Nah. Like, cause, all right. So, in 2012, I was nervous because... That was your first time. First time. First time jitters. But that was the first time ever in my life that people got to me. I usually get hype off of mad people. Like, What's up? You they I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is people. But when I seen that many, it was like, whoa. And I did what my coach didn't tell me not to do. But <laughs> I didn't was care that? about the people on TV. I can't see y'all. So it could be a thousand. I'm, I'm a it's not even a thousand. Yeah, millions. It's millions and millions. Billions close to a year. If y'all watching, that's cool. I can't see y'all. But those, that was crazy. But it wasn't like that in Rio. In Rio. And yeah. how much and that honestly, hold? Like It was like, what, 60,000? 60, 60, it's, it's a football. I don't know. It's a book football. Say it's so close. Yeah. To, we talking about 80? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Can you imagine Definitely. being in front of 80,000 people, bro? <laughs> Listen, I was, I was there in 2012. And see... Honestly, no. if the track, I'm, I'm going to put it to you like this. If the track in London was set up the like way. it was in Rio, yeah, it wouldn't have bothered me. But in Rio, the crowd was on top. On top like, it was like right. They was, you had looked up and they was right there. Right, you could see people looking at you like. <sighs> That's wild. <laughs> Damn. Here, the track was like. It was like there was a track and the stadium was like far back far and back around. Oh, okay. Like we, you had space to walk to the to the long jump. It wasn't in the middle of the ah. field, so it was it was different. I would have liked that crowd in Rio. Rio? You know, it would have been a lot, a lot better, a lot so, better. So like, when did you realize like, yo, I got the juice with this track shit. Like, this is something I'm gonna pursue as a career. Like, this is what I want to put my hundred percent focus into. Like, this is it. <sighs> I would say I realized that in the eighth grade. When I ran track, mm-hmm. um, what middle school you went to? Yeah, what I went to Sunrise. Uh, he ain't go to Dan. Hold on, no, hold on now. Hold on, now. hold on, hold on. <laughs> First of all, I started at Danny. Okay, okay, so okay. You okay. Right. Feel me? Right. Started at Danny, but I was wilding for respect out uh. there. I was wilding, <laughs> <laughs> so I had to, like most people do. Yeah, yeah I, had to, I had to leave, but I was, I was. I'm Haitian. It's mm-hmm. mad Americans at the school. Mm-hmm. And then at, at first, I was safe because my man Daniel went to the school, so I was safe. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm good. He ain't going to mess with me. Mess but then when Daniel left, I was a lone fish. You <laughs> know what I mean? And I wasn't backing down. I was wilding. So moms had to put me, you know what I mean? I went home to my people. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> went yeah, to the yeah. zones at Sunrise, Sunrise. Where, where I was loved. You know, half a seventh grade year so. But I re- I rep Sunrise more than anything else because that's where the, that's where home was for me in middle Love. school. That's true. But it's actually when I actually started running track too. So I realized it then. Um, I learned quick. I learned hurdles really quick, and I I was good at it quick. So I was like, all right, this is what I'm supposed to do, and this is all I've ever wanted to do was run. Besides, uh, learn okay. about the stars and astronomy and shit. Like yeah. that's the only thing I love besides track and field. Like track yeah. and field was that's always a love. I thought that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies science. don't like that. Hey, ladies, y'all hear that? This man is in there. Yeah, astronomy, 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 astronomy and stars. He will um, tell you about your zodiac sign and yeah, how you compliment him. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. If you will match or not. Um, I'm a South Florida guy, you know, in astronomy. <laughs> yes. <Come on. laughs> so, I mean, I, I, I like I said, I, I, I did that. Um, I went to high school, and again, while in first spec, not really taking Focusing, school serious, yeah. and mm-hmm. I went through to having no grades. I didn't have grades for three years and then end up having grades to my senior year ran and still was one of the top hurdlers in Florida. So I was like, okay, you got to do, I know I'm this supposed to do this. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is, this is me. And then I went to junior college, didn't really have a coach mm. to having a coach from a whole nother town that I had. I had to drive like an hour. I think it was like an hour and 15 minutes every day for practice. Damn. Run all day and then but it didn't, hour 15 back. Yeah. It's, so everybody got a story to what they definitely to come definitely. to in life. But do you feel like given the right tools or like early if you had the right mentality, you would have been in a different level? as it? Because you you just telling me now, like you ain't really started running yeah. till your senior year. <laughs> yeah. And, and nowadays, like dudes start that in 
He early. early, early, exactly. Early. I, I started early. I just started early in the streets. Yeah, I was racing. And technique is what separates you from. But honestly, in track and field, um, you know, one of my actually my uh, university coach can't, uh, at K State University, Coach Revelto, which was my coach, he mm-hmm. told me that when you're young, you're natural. Mm-hmm. A lot of times when you get mm-hmm. coached, they mess you up because mm-hmm. the natural is is good. You you're. That's what your body knows to do. You just go. Yeah. But then people start messing with you. And a lot of times the people that's messing with what you what you're doing don't know what Hold they're you. talking about. Ah. So it can mess you up. Oh, okay. You feel me? So gift and a curse type. Yeah, yeah. So me actually not doing it early was probably a blessing in disguise. True. Which See, it was. I mean, yeah. I made it to this you, level. Yeah. But um Yeah, I if I would have <sighs> We uh, there was <laughs> Go ahead. so I love for a lot of that a lot of that to the heart of true and blue you. you know true blue to, for life what, what what is it is is flying L's uh, losers what what it is strong and true strong and true blue. white and blue forever you feel hey, me up, so <laughs> that's cool that's Stop cool hey, chill out. but <laughs> if I had went to a school like St Thomas or American Heritage <clears throat> one of them private Johns yo listen. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been different. Oh, it would yeah. have been a lot different. Would they have real? I mean, yeah. not to say that the coaching was was what separates it. It's just nah. resources, resources, yes. facilities, everything it's is facilities, just and you know they they man. go they gonna make sure they Management, get the best yes. of the best of everything. Of everything. You feel me? Whereas in public school, you know we gotta f- fundraise and it's different. You feel me? You gotta All do. You gotta stretch. make do yeah. with what you have. Yeah. yeah. You know the coaching that doesn't. That's real. Coaching is 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 is. Coach don't mean nothing if you have talent. Yeah, that's a fact. So, you gotta have the talent. You're there coaching first. up the talent. Yeah, so. you know, it, it was it was a. My story is wild, man. It's uh, there's so much to it. Hey, that's what we trying to learn on the podcast. What makes <laughs> your story so wild? I mean, just as in growing up in an aspect. Nah, just the whole wilding out and changing, like okay. track and field. Basically, say this everybody, everybody sports save their life. Yes. So mm-hmm. that was my outlet. Um. If I ain't do nothing else good, I ran track good. I was probably not the best student. I probably wasn't. Mm-hmm. I, I was definitely intelligent, but I probably wasn't the best student. Didn't mm-hmm. focus on what I was supposed to. But when it came to track, I was good. So It made you disciplined in a sense. Yeah. I remember a coach telling me, you know, the way you treat, the way you treat your class, what, you, what you do in the classroom is what you do in your sport. Mm-hmm. And I had to pay attention. And I'm like, damn, I am lazy in certain parts of the yeah. classroom. And when I'm in practice, certain stuff, I'm like, ah, I can get away with not doing yeah. this. Or yeah. I ain't got to really do this because I'm good. Like, if I don't do this, uh-huh. I'll be all right. So I started noticing when you do better in the classroom or you focus on doing better. It trickles down to everything it, it, I, Yeah, it trickles down to your sport. That's why you're That's student right. athletes. Like, people, yeah, we should, in college, you should get paid, but you, you're you a student athlete. Like, you're definitely. student first. So you definitely feel like college players should get paid? Oh, definitely. Most definitely. Who don't you think? College People should get paid. Yeah, it's a multi-billion-dollar industry. Okay, it goes down into a lot of aspects because again, you play track. Do all college? I ran track. Ran track. You ran track. (laughs) You good? You good? You good? Do all? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Do all college athletes need to get paid? No. Yes. Yeah. No. They all can't get paid the same amount because all schools. Do the cars players need to get paid? Yes. Do because do, it's entertaining. It's entertaining. If they're people, bringing money people, to school, yeah. why, why, no, why shouldn't you no, get paid? Not I, if, feel, I feel like it's a business, and that's what people. If you're bringing revenue into the school, yeah, then you and get you a piece paid. of that. Do okay. all of them know? Now, no. now, now, right, let's put things into perspective. Let's okay. do it. Let's go to my school. Let's go to my university, Kansas State, State University. Yeah, well, Kansas State University. Uh, to me, is more of a basketball school than football, Definitely. but football, yeah. of course, is the number one sport. Now, the sport that produces the most revenue, conference championships, oh. um, s- national titles, Accolades, national whatever, yeah, 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 it's track and field. Now, we're not a revenue sport; we don't bring money into the school, no. but you can't be a Division One school if you don't have a me- either a men's or a women's track and field program. That is correct. Yeah. So you, so we're needed now. Title nine, now. You gotta have. Yeah. It. yeah. Facts. Like now. Money rule, like yeah. you need us. <clears throat> now, we bring money into the school. Be- okay. Now with us, N- how many schools can say they have? I think we had like nine or either nine to, to twelve Olympians at the Olympic Games. Representing from, from Kansas State University. Damn. So. 
<laughs> like we bringing this like who like notoriety you know, okay yeah so you know see. there's schools yeah. like florida yeah. arkansas yeah. Oregon lsu you know passions. oregon they gonna of course they're gonna have olympians but a midwest school kansas state, kansas state people are people are, people are expecting more football players recognition than olympians you feel me like mm -hmm. we got more recognition in track and field than any other sport we got the most national championships. We won more conferences, more conference championships than any other sport. Like all they got is Michael Beasley at Kansas State. That's my nah, <laughs> even that. No, <laughs> yeah, there's Michael Beasley, there's Jacob Pullen, yeah, Jacob Curtis, Pullen, yeah, 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 Curtis Cowles. Y'all got some talent. Yeah, it's, it's some. It's some. This this is my my whole thing with that is that you kind of pick. If we one produce, we, we you we, you we produce, but. It's business, yeah. You could produce, but you, are y'all bringing in revenue? But yo, it I'm saying let's be realistic in a right. sense. If everybody was to get paid, if they if y'all gave that um that proposal, mm -hmm. then nobody would get paid because there's not enough money for everybody to get paid. It was a multi billion dollar. That's what I'm industry. saying. Certain universities, the NC can. what the NCAA at Kansas State, the NCAA. Okay, we talk. Okay, Kansas but the, State. The, that's where the money comes from. Is the NCAA? The networks, all that, bro. They making bread, bro. They, 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 they dish out the money. They provide the money for the schools. If like, hey, here's the money. Five million dollars a year. Understood. There's money to pay. Out. If it's a billion dollar industry, we'll go off of that. Then they're gonna split the revenue 50 50 right? Just to be, let's say, equate. Okay. Now we, now we trying to equate it to a hundred and what? How many Division One schools is there? Like one hundred and three. It's a lot. One hundred. And now, 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 do that. To how many sports are in the schools? Right. The money doesn't equate. But yeah, but you know the school. The money gotta, doesn't equate. It that's does. what I'm saying. It, listen, so that's why you have to NCAA, break it up. But the, listen, the NCAA makes money and the school makes money too. It's not just the NCAA making understood. money. Understood. You feel it's, me? So it's it's listen. They make you got, enough. You got boosters. You got alumni like they exactly. Get but listen, that's the re okay. Even if they don't pay athletes, the full ride should consist of more because it's okay. not enough. Okay, That's why and then still be we can't listen, on four man. Rides. Let me tell you something, man. I, it ain't, for that. I was a full ride athlete. I wasn't going nothing. Left. If you wanted me, <laughs> if you ain't have full ride in the conversation, you can't talk to me. Now, even with the full ride, when you got to pay your car insurance, rent, phone bill, food, all that, and they just give you rent money, and after you pay your rent. You they ain't really ain't got nothing left. Now you gotta pay all these other bills. Like at least pay the phone bill, pay the car insurance, like pay for stuff. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta give but me you, physical money. But you're not paying for your education though. What do you mean? You're I, not paying for your that. tuition. But but think that, about how that, much. That, that 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 money that, that other students are paying for, you guys don't have to. So that equation to your your phone bill, your your insurance. We done taking depths out. Nah, you are equating hold on, hold on, it to that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, it's not a hold on. <laughs> that, that's exactly what it is. Nah, that's y'all want the whole nine. Y'all want the whole nine. If it's a full, it's a full. Yeah, you gotta pay tuition, for everything. room and board. Well, I mean, <laughs> alumni and boosters alone can take care of kids' tuition. No, and they don't let how us do that. How much are you really spending at a university? Think how much is a university per year? It depends on what university it is. We talking about South Florida? What per year? What I, I you can throw what? 10, 15, okay. somewhere around 8. The school is about to make over 10 to 15 million alone. Just all right. what they're going to get from networks and everything. This is without boosters and alumni. So mm -hmm. you're telling me you don't have enough to even, uh, I don't know if you remember, uh, well, it's this girl who I know from a lot of the, used to be around her. She's coming around, but she worked at UM and she was like, they used to give the football players little stipends of like $200. Increase what the What the hell am I going to do with $200, $200 as a stipend, dog? My whole thing is... And then they wonder why athletes go wrong. It has people. to be equality if you're doing it for everybody. Does the golf niggas deserve that same aspect? Yeah, but they're not going to get paid as much. No, no, that's what I'm saying. It has to be equality. Do they, do they, do they deserve that? But they bring that? the school notoriety. That's, all no, this, they, that's so, what it's all about. Not in every school they don't. <laughs> but you got to think... Niggas don't pay attention, attention to college about? golf. Do they really but pay no, attention? No, no, no. There's right. a fan base for it, though. <sighs> and then look, but they have a this way. Not collegiate. Not collegiate. Fan base. There's a fan not base in everything. Not collegiate. If, they, were, if they didn't look, have a fan base, they wouldn't have the sport. What's his name? Speed. Jordan Speed. Big golfer right now. Yeah. The one. He went to Texas. He dropped out his after his freshman year. Because it was people don't know about you. You go professional. And I understand your claim because of track and field. Y'all, y'all big time athletes, but y'all don't get no notoriety, no yeah, love yeah. In, the in the U.S. Man. Yeah, in the U.S. In the U.S. In the U.S. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. make that clear. Overseas, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's get different. Love, y'all get yeah. that love. So in that sense, I understand. But 
when it comes to college athletes being paid, it's college athletes. It's not for you. You trying to pay equality for everybody when it doesn't. It shouldn't constitute to everybody because everybody doesn't bring this. Everything is about value and what you bring to the table. Right, and that's yes or no. And that's, and that's where it gets tricky. And that's where it gets tricky for the NCAA because if you let if you allow colleges to pay athletes. The bigger schools are gonna win when it comes to recruiting of because course. they have more money. Of course, That's but true. man, they can make it happen, man. But they're winning with recruiting now, though. That's my thing. These big schools, like football schools, they're winning. You gotta think. That's yeah, true. you might say golf is boring. Nobody, nobody wants to watch that. But a lot of times, them kids who play them sorry ass sports, nobody wants to see. Their parents are the one that's giving so much back to that school mm-hmm. because golf is a rich person sport. Everybody knows that. Eighty percent of business bread. transactions going on on the golf course. Golfing is for white people. Polo, lacrosse. That's Caucasian sports. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but those parents are the one. They want little Billy to be able to golf. So guess what they're going to do? They got to donate 80 grand to this school, whatever. That's what mm-hmm. they're going to do. Because that's going to keep their son getting to play the sport they want. They ain't got to be home. And the school is getting And money. you got to understand, too, like, the scholarship. Scholarships is not like you, people think, too. Like, football has 85 full scholarships. Track has 16 or 12 women. No, 11 men or 12 men and 16 for women. Like, every sport has different amount of full rides that they could give. Mm-hmm. So, it's not like it's like they got to pay. Gets, yeah, yeah, like, it's not like they got to pay 300 athletes at every... Because it's not 300 athletes. You, you they feel get it, like, that. yeah. And it's only the full ride athletes who would get paid. It's not like it's not every... Yeah, yeah, only yeah. full ride. That, that's what they... That's they what they want to do. You would think everybody on the team has got a uh, nah, nah, it nah. Didn't, they didn't like that. Nah. And it's hard to get a full ride in football. Oh yeah, because it's only eighty five, and it's like what one twenty. Because you got to practice. Yeah, the whole the whole nine yeah. works. It's a lot of people. It is. Look, good to thing. get a full to get a full ride. You got to be that dude. You got to. You got. You know what the, the same. Connects. If you ain't running a certain time, you Ooh, better do. You, you better do more. It. You better do more than one event real good if you want to talk about full ride. <laughs> Damn. Think about it. Good, good thing you out of that that yeah. element, right? Nah, but I mean, I didn't have to worry. But I was a full ride athlete yeah, from yeah. day one. Yeah. It was, uh, it was a wrap. Expand. You was out of state. Day shit. one. Yeah. What made you go? To, what made you go to Kansas State? Um. Well, junior college. Um, yeah. Man, I don't know if I'm. I don't want to snitch or act like I'm or because it's low key. Yeah. It's a you know, it's podcast. low key. Yeah. No, I mean, it's wow. it's low key. I was we was low key breaking rules because. When this I went to the JUCO, yeah. I mean, I drove. My school was an hour and a half from. I lived. In, I went to school in Concordia, Kansas, Manhattan, Kansas, which is where K State was. Mm-hmm. Was an hour and fifteen minutes, hour and twenty minutes away. So, with our JUCO, we didn't have an indoor track. Got you. Yeah, let you. So, from time to time, like maybe once or twice a, a, a season, we go to Manhattan to practice on a real indoor track to get the field before we get the no. season started. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it just so happens that at one of those practices, of course, I'm by myself. Turning up. The coaches don't worry about they not really they can't coach me. They don't know anything about hurdles. So I'm doing my own thing, crashing hurdles, like hitting the motherfuckers. But I'm good because I'm I'm strong. So I hit a yeah. hurdle, I'm good. But I'm crashing hurdles, crashing hurdles. And this dude who coaches his daughters, and one of his daughters was a phenom in high school. Like she was really, really good. Um, he was watching me. And his youngest daughter does hurdles, too. He was watching me do the, like, crash hurdles. And he said at one point he couldn't take it no more. He had to come over there and say something to me. Damn. So <laughs> I don't remember what it was that he said. His name was um, Coach McDougal, one of the most really? technical coaches yeah. I've had. Um, He came over. I don't remember what it was he said to me, but he said it. And I went over there, did it, and immediately, like, it changed. So I was like, damn. This thing just helped out. Like, he good, right? So, after the practice, I'm like, yo, coach, like, nah, you mind if you, you know, help me me out. He was, yeah, he took me in. Like, he took me in, like, as as a son. Like, it was past track and field. Like, he took me in as a son. And I was tearing up. I mean, I was, I think I was number two or three in, in junior college. Um... The number one dude was from Barbados, who was actually world champion that year. It's crazy, um, and I only ran one year at JUCO too because I was hurt. Yeah, my, my first year, yeah. uh, dislocated kneecap. Um, yeah, that's another story. Hella setbacks. Yeah, it's mass. It's mass stories. Um, but you know, 
where we practiced that was on K State. Back to the story, we practiced on K State track. So, me personally, I, I didn't really feel obligated, but the way Coach Revelto showed love, like if we needed to, I mean, they already him and Coach Medulla already had a relationship, so you know they use their facilities sometimes. But you know, Coach was like he let us use the facilities all the time. So when he came to talk to me, it was like automatic. Yeah. But I was waiting on South Carolina, mm. and I didn't want to go to Arkansas. And I knew Omaha, uh, Nebraska wanted me real bad, but I was waiting for that South Carolina call. Like, yo, I'm holding out. Uh, like, I really want to come to K State, yeah, coach, yeah. but I'm holding out, right? So I, it was like the two week point where we about to go to break, S- school about to start next semester. I'm nervous. Like, damn, South yeah. Carolina ain't called yet. So which called them said they let her of intent. I don't already went on my visit at K State, yeah. but I mean I already it's knew right the school because it's yeah. yeah I don't where we go and go out sometimes. So, and I already knew the basketball players from practicing over there all the time and all that. So, yeah. when it came time to um, make that commit. when they when they yeah. sent the letter of intent, I was like, man, fuck it, it's a full rod. Let's do Signed it. Signed the letter of intent, sent it over <laughs> the next day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, the next day, South Carolina calls. Coach Fry's like, "How you doing, young man?" I'm like, "Oh <laughs> man, Coach, what the damn?" <laughs> Damn. Damn, Coach, why today, man? I just sent my letter of intent yesterday. And he was like, well, you know, you got two weeks to make a decision and change. But I'm like, you man. Too far to do uh, yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. that's that's, that's whack. Like, I already made them wait mad long. Yeah. And, like, they, they low-key looked out. Like, yeah, I'm too. like, damn, I can't do that. He was Not like, all right, fun. I understand. I'm like, ah. And you holding out for them, too. That's crazy. But everything happens for a reason. Everything though. happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Everything. But I know if I don't want this show, South Carolina, South Carolina, that's, that's, that's where hurdlers go. That's oh, where real? hurdlers are produced. Terrence Jamel, Allen Johnson, oh, you talking about? Yeah, you talking about some of the best hurdlers in U.S. history, like hey. Jason Richardson. Like everybody went to 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 South Carolina as a hurdler, like yeah. <laughs> so, so. That made Johnny the Dutch. decision even even that much harder. Man, was, you don't know. You did really you contemplate listen, ever? Did you listen, contemplate? Listen did you contemplate? Me, listen, the stories. <laughs> I could write a book about my life, yo. Like, because I definitely was at a point where I was about to leave K State. Yeah. So, ah, uh, leader. Ah, uh, man. So, <laughs> coaching with Coach McDougal, you know, this guy's really good. Like what he did with me in a year, coming off of injuries and all that. Like, I was good. Now it was time to go to. To college, you know, I'm thinking I'm at D. I'm D1 now. You know, you know how I did. Oh, I'm yeah. D1 now. Everything, everything's <laughs> set. Good. So we practicing, and you know, it's, it's cool. Practice is cool. Get to the meet, and I run slower than I ran in Juco. Oh. <laughs> so I'm tight. <laughs> and this is the angry me. This young me, like I'm wilding. Yeah. Anger problems, all that. I'm wilding. Like, oh, this shit wag. Like, I don't, I don't like this shit. So I'm, you know, talking and. Back and forth, you know, he's like, yo, just chill, you good, you know, take time, transition. That's when I was learning, you know, it's transition when you go from one coach to the next. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, they got to break you down. I'm like, all right, you know what? It's cool. Season goes long, I'm still running slow. So at the same time, I'm hitting up the because there's a coach in, man, it's crazy. I could go back to Juco and, and tell <laughs> stories. But it was a coach that went to Juco at, at Barton County, which is the school I was supposed to go to. But they was on probation. Long story short, he moved up to Oklahoma. So and he always wanted to coach me. And he coached the world champion. So at the time, young minded me is like, damn, he no hurdles. Yeah. Like I could slide. I, I, I slide real easy. Oklahoma. But my Ooh. but my my bro, um, one of my best friends, Eric Kennard, that go to uh that went to K State with me to high jumpers, high jump silver medalist for the US actually. Lord. He was like, um, bro, just wait it out, like chill, like don't do it. I'm like, all right, cool, I'm gonna stay. And I had success. Um, I mean, I was I was all American every year. Made it to nationals every year. It's pretty big. Made finals. <laughs> so never won. Just tough in the NCAA, but you know, yeah. I I had success. Big what was that at the time? The Big Twelve was it the Big Twelve at the time? <sighs> listen, that's one of the best. Listen yeah. to me. Listen Come on. to me. The Big Twelve listen. is like one of listen, the best. Listen, I'm putting it, I'm, I'm I'm close in this mic right now. <laughs> when I was a hurdler in the Big Twelve, yeah. it was unfair. If I went to school oh, yeah. right now, what, the SEC or the Pac-10 or something like that. I would that. violate in the Big 12. I would vi- <laughs> listen, it the hurdles in my time, bro. <laughs> yeah, he's really I'm going to put it like this. My I think it was my junior year. 
Yeah, my junior year, the there's eight lanes at mm-hmm. Nationals. Five of the eight lanes was from the Big 12 in the final at Nationals. So you already know how it's serious. Stacked. So five of us from the Big 12 are in the, final. in the final. Like, so I just let say you know no how more. hard it is. Say no more. Say no more. <laughs> say no more. Every race was a, was, <laughs> was a yeah. yeah. You got to show bring your A game. Listen, man. I hated seeing Oklahoma. I hated seeing OU. I hated them. I hated seeing OU. Because why? Because you, you felt like you could have been there? Honestly, you knew you was low-key racing for a second. Like, <laughs> Ronnie Ash was just on another level that year. Like, it was... Nigga used to do disrespectful shit. Like, not run you through the bolt, line. Like, same bolt type? Yeah, so it was... You used to hate seeing them niggas. Oh, man. But when it was... You seen, you seen Nebraska, oh, we finna go at it. What up? Everybody else, we finna go at it, but... What, what is the mentality of a track athlete? Let, because... People know about football players, basketball, it's all the, same. the whole Rambrada about that. What like that is even to me more competitive because you really just I'm the best. That's the mentality. So when you I'm go the, to a, I'm I'm the best at this moment on there, this day. Is there trash talking? Is there like are you are you looking at the next lane and being like or like is it is it's like levels, basketball it's you levels, want on okay. it's levels. Um <laughs> me, it's levels to this shit. <laughs> High school level? Oh, oh yeah. it's it's on. Oh yeah, ridiculous shit, Tony. You're not faster than me. At the end of the day, like you're not gonna beat me, bro. Like yeah. what up? Y'all racing for second? Like yeah, niggas racing. Then when you go to the next out. level, it's all about sportsmanship. Nah, they teach you got to chill yeah, on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Now, friendly between Ooh, somebody we know who, each other. Yeah. Like yo, we, we 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 about to get it on right now. Like you win, and I'm yeah. gonna win. Like you're not. So it's I mean it's all in, in every sport. You got to know that you're the best at what you do. At, at 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 every given point. If you don't, then you already lost. You, you right? can't have no doubt. Doubt is the worst thing to have. Because it ain't a team sport at that. It's, it's, it's individual. An individual. So, individual. So it's confidence has to be on a a, a the epitome of, of whatever. But you definitely you definitely always represent a body of people. Yes. That's always. True. Whether you're at the high school level, you're the body of people is your school. College level, same. International level, you carry your country on your back. So, although it's individual, you know that the most part of it. But you always got a body of people that you represent. So, you take that with you too. Like people you who do. support you, your family. Like you always have that you with you. Act a yeah, way. absolutely. Back to the Olympics. Hmm. If you had to pick your favorite moment, excluding anything that you participated in, mm-hmm. what would be your favorite moment at this year's Olympics? Out of everything that you witnessed. Like, there was wow. a lot of the good things. It's, it's USA. Yeah, I never even thought about that. Um, yeah. I would... <sighs> wow. That is a great question, bro. You just stumped me. That's good. That's <laughs> um, what I'm supposed to do. <clears throat> I really... I didn't do Was it much. Usain Bolt? No, I mean, I've seen Bolt, met Bolt before. True. Um, so, and I'm not really one of those... Starstruck yeah. type people. I think the only person that I'll ever be like that with is is probably Steph. Like, if Curry? I meet Steph, I'm going to be on some, like, yo, I'm a fan type shit. Like, yo, bro, what's good? Like, can I get an autograph? Okay. I'm going to be on some. So, if you met LeBron, if you, met LeBron you want to do that no, same way? No, LeBron is normal. I've, I've seen LeBron in 2012. It's not that special, bro. Oh. Steph just. Oh, yeah, Steph like, didn't even go to the Olympics this year, did he? Like, nah, he didn't just go to Bob at all? I don't know if he came in 2012. I don't think, I don't know if he did or not, but. I think he did. Cause he I think he LeBron. did. Yeah. yeah, he probably he did. Was, he was. But yeah, yeah, you were there for twenty years, so you seen a, a whole Olympic team. Yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Steph all, alone, like what you mean? Like starstruck. Yes, that's it. As far as athletes, are concerned. yeah. As far as athletes are concerned, okay. yes. So, what female actress you'd be like? Really? <sighs> female actress? It's yeah. a couple. Yeah, you gotta be a couple, man. Like, I don't, I don't know if I act starstruck, but I'm definitely trying to get at like, you. Like, yo, <laughs> listen, gotta shoot the shot. You, you like them? You like them old tenor ones? They like Salon Lathan. I mean, like Salon Lathan is special. <laughs> I, how did I know? How did I, yeah, how did I know? How did I know? Sanaa Lathan is special. Megan Good. Right the Megan Good before I find out she smokes cigarettes. Oh, special. Yeah. Same hit, bro. I yo, was about that with Holly Berry. Yeah. I found out she smokes if cigarettes. She, that was yeah. it. Now, if she. If she partaked in, partook in other 
you know, yeah, other whatever. things. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But cigarettes, come on, yeah. man. You, you pain like, to kill yourself. That diminishes yeah. your, your, your quality. breath. Probably stinks. Uh, your clothes stink. I can't. I can't rock with cigarettes. Uh, right? I, I feel um, you on that. Whoo, female actresses. On the other side, we got Jennifer Aniston, who's bad. Oh, man. That's my first white crush. Like, um, that no, real talk. You, if she's bad, yeah, bro. Megan well, Fox. Okay. Got That's it. her name? That's the girl yeah, from yeah, Megan yeah, Fox. Transformers. Listen. That girl, uh, oh, my God. How did I forget her name? She's from the Avengers. Uh, Scarlett Johansson? Scarlett Johansson. Yo. Yo, chill, 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 chill. That's hey, place. listen, hey, listen, <laughs> chill. She bad. people, Scarlett Johansson, if you're single <laughs> and you're just so like, it just okay. so happens that you turn your phone or your phone hit, listen, some, listen, Scarlett Johansson, Scarlett Johansson like that. She's nice. Ah, today. <laughs> I'll marry you today. She Scarlett nice. Scarlett Special. Nice. You're bugging Special. for that She's side, for that side, right now. for that side. Oh yeah, definitely top three. Um, <laughs> it's a lot, man. I can't even think. Look, you ain't even, you ain't even answer my um favorite yeah. Olympic moment that you had. Oh, see, yeah, because that's that's so tough. I it mean, is, but I want to know. Rio just happened this summer. What if you had to pick a moment that you thought, yo, I'm gonna remember this opening ceremony? Okay. Um, and I the crazy thing is I didn't even want to do it because I, mean, I didn't take a knee like. Come. Now, <laughs> nah, I mean, I did it in 2012. It was different. We walked like two to 2.5 miles. Oh, hell no. Give me a scooter. That's a warm up. <laughs> in, in 2012. And I just ain't want to experience that again. Like, it's too much walking, bro. I'm thinking I walked straight from like maybe <laughs> right. right outside the stadium walking in or something. Yeah, I'm thinking I walked from the village. It, and I might be exaggerating. It might have been a mile and a half. It, it was long it at the end long. of the day. Yeah, yeah. It was long. We was going slow. So I didn't like that part but in 2016 it was kind of like a redemption even though i fell it was like oh man i'm really here like it didn't like when you i qualified the or the opening the opening okay um because in 2012 i didn't make i didn't make it out of the first round mm -hmm. which is rare for me mm -hmm. um so in 20 like 2016 when i qualified and i knew i was going like I was, it didn't hit me like you're yeah, a two-time yeah. Olympian. Like, even though you haven't been there, you're a two-time Olympian. It didn't hit me. But at opening ceremony when we walked in, I was like, "Yo, I'm really here." Like, all that work, it's That's go crazy. time. Like, let's That's go. Crazy. And I start like when I <laughs> when I get hyped, like <laughs> I start like like yeah, like. <laughs> So I started doing that. People was looking at me like, "Yo, you good?" And I'm like, "Oh man, I'm at the open ceremony. I gotta chill real quick." Yeah, yeah. But that I would, I would I'll probably say that's probably the the, the favorite moment. Um, also walking out again because it was a lot different. I was more in tune with what was going on. Like I wasn't first time. I wasn't a first time. I had experience. Mm -hmm. So it was like, "Yeah, let's now nah, now nah, I walked out with that. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Like I'm about to volley these niggas. Like." That whole different swagger, that second year swagger. Because I, I didn't have a, a really, because in the in the prelims I got third, and I didn't really have a good start. So, so you knew in, a, in, a, in the semis, I was. <laughs> if you think it ain't fell, what you, what you it was so. If, listen, if, if, if that if I was so ready, like when we were out were at the ready. warm up track, <laughs> man, we were at that warm up track. Like coach was like, "Yo, I sit," and we we got the same mentality. Like, "Yo, let's let's fucking go, man." It's great, and I. I do like to talk. I'm yeah. like, yo, coach, I'm about to volley these niggas. Like, hey, I don't know who, I don't care who's who. Like, you got to go today. Like, it's, it's it's go time. And then it didn't happen. It didn't come up. It's <laughs> like, fuck. Really? All right. This happened for a reason. Let's go. Yeah. The old me would have wilded out. Like, through hurdles. hurdles. <laughs> like, fuck, man. Walk off the track. Take off my jersey. Like, hey, you would have been a, you would have been a sensation. And that would have been, over. and that would have been worse. <laughs> yeah, it that would have been, been probably, ten times worse. You probably, oh, you probably would took Ryan Lockley's um highlight for more than this. Man, this whole yeah, thing. you would have been the yeah, yeah, and, and of the that, crazy, and the yeah. crazy part about that is, is I fell. I got the memes. I got the the, the publicity. The next yeah. day in the women's hurdles, in every heat at the semifinals. Six well, put it like this: six people fell, six total people fell in the semifinals. 
no, nope. nothing nobody. about it. Nothing about it. In the uh, fifteen hundred or the ten k, two of the top girls, I think, mm-hmm. fell like just uh-huh. stumbled over, had to get up and go. Nothing about it. Nothing about it. That's why I said that happened for a reason. Like I can't, you, I can't I be you mad I at thought it. it well, why it happened because the vibrato that you brought out was people were like, did you? It's you not. Know? But not knowing what the true message was about it, they, they took it. It was like, yeah, yeah, they took it. Exactly this the storyline is presented between the thing. Right, it was right. like, look at this dude right here. And, and then, I mean, it is what it is. Everybody's yeah. always gonna have their opinion. Because honestly, if I had to look at it too, if that was me sitting in my chair in my uh, living room, yeah. I gotta think how would I think about who was this true. dude like? Yeah. But and I would have laughed if he fell. I wouldn't have created no meme because that's not the lifestyle I live. Yeah. But I would have laughed at the memes. I would have laughed at it. I probably wouldn't have talked about it on social media, but you know, but your people and stuff like that. Yeah, like, yeah. So I, I didn't. It didn't. Surprisingly, I didn't get as. I didn't. First of all, I didn't realize that I had that many social media shooters because people was going ham like on crazy, Facebook. Right? I was yeah. like, "Yo, I got mad shooters out here in the social media world. Like, <laughs> you can't mess with me right now." Yeah. But I wasn't mad yeah. or didn't get tight at any point. It was almost like. You I was. Like bi- I felt like to, to, to get easily I, man. Listen, I tell people like I was built for that moment. I've yeah. been clowning niggas and getting clowned <laughs> so it my weird. whole life. Crazy. So like what? Crazy. It, I just bust my ass yes. in front of millions of people <laughs> who wouldn't laugh. Like I gotta get ready for that. So I did, I wasn't like at one point like yo like oh, I want to fight tight, this nigga like. But seeing some of the people on Facebook, I'm like yo. Tell, <laughs> tell me your funniest. Meme or like quote that you've seen, you gotta I think remember the at least Maja think hype. The, the, the major, major hype, Maja hype. <laughs> His was hilarious, bro. He did one, uh, yes. No, <laughs> listen, hit. I'm gonna tell you why it was funny because <laughs> it's like for a dude who's not Haitian, yeah, to know the to stuff he know, yeah. like. <laughs> He you know, everybody. He said, like to the T. I don't know how either. And he was like making his son come out, like, "Yo, Peter, come and watch this. <laughs> <laughs> come and watch how it is to represent your country." <laughs> and the fell happened, and he started like he didn't volley. He was yeah, just yeah. like, "Oh man, like, <laughs> yo." Nah, that had I was be. I was laughing, <laughs> crying, laughing, and I seen that before. Yo, listen. Y'all don't understand how fast, how fast it, it gets to you. That's, hey, no, 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 no. Is the, quick. Yo, quick isn't the word. I was at the warm, like, finished the race, did the media, come back to the warm up track, practice track, and seeing the memes and the videos, like Not they was inside. already they up. You like that? So that you, fast? So you that felt, day? So that you, night? Ugh, I, that's crazy. It happened that quick. That's like, crazy. <laughs> Internet is quick, bro. They don't play. No, but like, but <laughs> that whole. That's crazy to me because, like, you still in the moment yes. at that time. Yes. And yes. you seeing the world's reaction to what you just did. But I seen more, I seen more of the positive stuff. Okay. Than I did the, 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 the negative. Me- yeah. Like, the memes was just all IG. Yeah. Whew. It was going crazy. I got the, once I seen the Jordan face, I said, all right, it's <laughs> I got the Jordan face and they hit this with the hat because we had a, uh, <laughs> The fits we wore to the Jordan opening the ceremony, official. they put the Haiti hat on them. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I was like, oh, it's over. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I knew it was lit. Once I saw it on Ball Alert, I said, oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Once they made Ball, Ball Alert, Alert, I said, it, bro. damn. Yeah, it's, yeah, it was it's on, viral. It's, it's everywhere. I it was, was on, listen, real, I was bro. on, they said I was on CNN. Party Good morning. Morning. Pa- I was yeah. on Party Interruption, yes, too. Bro. You on Sports Center. I know I was on Sports yeah, Center. Yeah, I know I was on His or Hers. Who's on? Um, what's Good it? Morning America, yeah. CNN, uh, no, you made Today his Show, or hers. His or Hers. Like, <laughs> I said, wow, that's crazy. But I think if I didn't finish, yeah, would've it would have been clowns. Because I would say this, though, when they would have been on, the on too TV, much. they said, but he had the will and courage that he still got up and finished. And it's like, most people wouldn't have done that. Yo, listen, so I was like, they did throw that in a lot. It, yeah. It's definitely a positive. And the, the craziest thing about that is, is hearing so many people tell me that, like, yo, I don't know how you, like, I was so surprised to hear so many people be like, yo, if that was me, I couldn't have finished. My ego was like, like I, shot. That's real. Oh, and man. And that, at that point, is to, it, that's, a, that's a self, like, self-realizing moment. Like, you're like, yo, Dang. damn, like, I thought, 
Cause that's you what everybody have would too do. Too much time to think in that sense of what you, you don't. Would do. You just and do. it was automatic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was do. automatic. Like I said, it was like, damn, why here? All right, Let's fuck go. it, get up. Because I'm, I'm, I mean, what I'm accustomed to is hearing and thinking about yeah. all the stuff that don't Compared wall out. Yeah, if yeah. I wall out, you ain't gonna look good. You trying to, you feel me? And man, it's crazy how things happen. But I mean, I'm hey. good now. Yeah. So you was a viral sensation. <clears throat> viral, viral. All over a lot of networks. Yeah. So after this whole series of events, mm-hmm. how's your stock for the ladies been? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, sympathy uh, box, sympathy <laughs> box, baby. Listen, <laughs> you okay? You okay? <laughs> I seen you fall. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't yeah, I can't say what I did and what was going on, but I had a great time in Brazil. Okay. I had a very good time in Brazil. Um, yeah, this, the athletes were definitely supportive. Okay. You know, like, yo, good job finishing. Like, that's crazy. But they killing you on the, on the yeah, main, they though. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I already know. It's over <laughs> for a minute. Damn, they got me. Yo, it's so crazy because <laughs> me and uh, my college coach, Jorge Velto, like, we, we have a real good relationship. Um, and we've been through it, too. But... Uh, we always clowning, like we always clowning him, like calling him yeah. ugly and all that. Like, <laughs> so that night, no, not that night. Like a couple nights later, I seen him in the in the in the village at the calf. And I'm like, yo, like that's that's my that's yo, yeah, international. Like, <laughs> like yo, yo, yo. Yeah, the, yo, everybody knows yeah. me. So, <laughs> uh, I hit him with the yo, and he turns around, he comes over. I'm like, what's good, coach? You, you was good. I'm like, damn, coach, you ugly as hell, man. Like. <laughs> And he's like, yeah, 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 I look like you or whatever, you know, joking around. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, not even thinking, like, yo, like, you about to be here next week to compete. Because, you know, uh, after the Olympics, you know, the Paralympics come in. Uh-huh. So I'm like, um, you coming next week to participate in the Paralympics, right? Because, you know, you're a little. <laughs> so he was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> he hit me with the whoa, whoa. And I knew automatically, like, all right, all right, all right, don't do it, please. Like, yo, you sure? You want to do this right now? And I'm like, oh, man, I can't even hit the old man with the jokes. He ready for Everybody me. Everybody ready for it. And he, like, he started telling me, like, man, when I was, <laughs> he said, when I saw that shit. It's like he told me, he's like, when I saw that shit, man. I was like, oh, shoot. He said, my wife was like, oh, my God. Damn. My bro, E, I seen him crying laughing. Like, he on E because he high jumped. Yeah. So, he in the infield, like, he yeah. shaking his head and start crying laughing. I'm like, damn, they about this over for instant, me. Instant crap. Listen, I can't until, until I redeem myself. It is a wrap. Forever for me clowning anybody. Like, yeah, you can't. They got the Trump card over you oh, right now. Yeah. Man, they got the Trump. But it that look, yeah. that might have happened for a reason. That might have been a growth. Amen. A True. growth thing. Like Amen. maybe Amen. I need to stop with the clowning or you know, like maybe that'll help. I don't know what the purpose is, but twenty ten. But don't get it now. and don't get it twisted. You will still get heated. Hey. I don't care nothing about that. For I will heat you <laughs> for days. You're still from Lauderdale. So already. You already, already do know. crack and flip. I think and flip. <laughs> hey, look, I can flip too. <laughs> See, I can, I can flip. flip too. That's how I started running racing track. Street That's how I started running. Was was hitting flips. The basics. Racing the street flips and crack jokes. What are you about to say? So 2020 Olympics. You you there? Oh. You with it? I have to go to Tokyo. Yeah. Konnichiwa. To. The redemption. That's what we can call it. I feel like they ain't gonna treat y'all real nice out Listen, there. man. Like listen. Tokyo, Tokyo Japanese people are very, very meticulous. Like mm. everything is to the T. And when they yes. know they when they know something, they, they know it. Like they it. they're yeah. in, like I the best trainer I ever had was Japanese. Before I got to K-State, I don't know what the position is, but when you on this position, whatever this is, like on before you start up in the bopping position for people that in a lot of them <laughs> i couldn't get in the bop position you know when they when you on when you, <laughs> nigga with your hand, i couldn't get in that position before i met nobu takashima nobu Taka takashima what well, sound like a bomb listen <laughs> nobu was special with the treatment bro like he knew the body so and not only that, but the Japanese love competing with the Chinese. So you know they're going to want to outdo, outdo whatever they the do. opening ceremony, yes. the village, That's, all I that. I can't wait to see Actually, the Actually, Tokyo ceremony. might be, be nuts. stupid. Man. Because they, 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 they got the whole nine where, yeah. yeah, they got Guam and they're going to get They got And they, they really prideful people, so they always try to be the best. Man, that is, and I have to experience that. Got to. 
How old are you, Jeff? Right now. I am 28. I will be okay. 29 in... Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. I'll be 29 in 21 days. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'll be 32 at the next Olympic Games. Lit. That's straight. Lit. Yeah. So, yes. so what's the next up for you right now? Well, I have... Okay. Right now, um, in the off-season is what we call it. So... Yeah. For the next three weeks, I'm off, and then we start training again because 2017, we have world championships. See, that's the biggest misconception, too, in track and field. A lot of people yeah. think we train four years <laughs> for one event. For one event. No, people. There are different leagues, like the Diamond Leagues and World Championships and Grand Prix overseas that you compete in. Um, and it's all regional, too. Like, every region has their own championships, like... I was saying earlier, we got Pan American Games. Yep. There's the CAC, which is the um, Central American and Caribbean Games. There's NACAC. I don't know what NACAC is, but because it's, it's too much. Yes, yeah, it's it's, it's <laughs> the a championship. Yeah, there's yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. there are plenty of meets and championships and Grand Prix. Like I said, track is just not popular in the United States of America. So, um, and that they're actually trying to do better as a yeah as a country, and they 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 actually had a series that they just started this year with a draft and all this stuff so i mean it 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 was okay for the most part so it'll i know that'll grow they'll get better at it over time um so yeah i'm i'm my next endeavor is 2017 london world championships got to get that medal there first off because that fall was a was a stepping stone amen if you had to give an advice for young black man growing up especially down in our you know environment broad county what would you say to them? Don't ever let somebody tell you what you can't do or be. Um, every and everybody will always try to tell you what you need to do, but only you know what you want to do. So focus on what you want to do, man, and don't let nobody stand in the in the way. Like I can't tell you how many people told me I wasn't gonna be mm. an athlete or I wasn't gonna be anything for that matter. So. Look where I am today. So I mean, it's it's all about right. persistence and, and, and determination. Like I, I was, de- I'm always determined to prove people wrong. So, however you feel, I'm not going to do. I'm going to show you. That's real. That's real. Hey, man, it's been a pleasure, man. Yeah, man. I feel like you wanted the Brodies now. I feel like I know <laughs> definitely, about definitely, yeah, yeah. Real definitely, talk, man. It's been nothing but a pleasure. We have two time Olympian. Yeah, definitely on a podcast. Appreciate that, my man Jeffrey. Um, I do, yeah. I do train kids on the side. So, um, Let know your if you need, yeah, yeah, yeah um, IG, whatever you need on, on Facebook, you can find me. I have the regular, you can find the regular Jeff Jewelman's and then I have a fan page at Jeff Jewelman's 87. Um, IG is Jeff Jewelman's Twitter, Mr. Jewelman's everything has to do with my last name, Jewelman's, um, yeah. So yeah, you could you could find me on those pages, and hit me up if you need if if your kids need to be trained in track and field because I'm 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 venturing off into the coaching world. Okay, Smart. so I wish I had a fan page. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't you, le- you ain't legit yet, yeah, and I appreciate you guys having me, man. No, man, we appreciate you coming through the podcast, man. We See, never Mike, had Mike ain't even tell you we went to high school together, like. He he threw that in there a little bit. Oh, he threw that in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. You know he, he went a, to the bro when I was a sophomore. Yeah. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, Mike went to the Eve right before you went to... Uh, um, I went to Ely first, yeah. My yeah. First year. Then I transferred out there. So I guess you oh, came into you. Yeah. yeah, I didn't... I knew you transferred from somewhere. I didn't know you yeah, came from Ely, though. Mm-hmm. You came to yeah. Ely and whatnot. Look at that. We got a little uh, alumni meeting over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flying L. Already. That's what's up. We have Paul Cross. Are you remember Paul Cross? Yes, I do. Okay. Paul Cross was very nice. All right. Just just checking. Just but a lot of them had Jeffrey Jewelman's next to <laughs> tell us. Kareem Pickering. Uh, <laughs> there we go. There nah, we go. We, <laughs> Jeff Jewelman's number one, though. <laughs> nah, I mean, <laughs> you know. All right. All right. You've been listening to the podcast. Appreciate you Turn, tuning in. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We out, man. You know. We out of here. Flying L Drive. We Already. Here. Drive. We Already. Here. Drive. We Already. Here. Drive. We Already. 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 Drive. We Already.